Hey all, Silver Keys here. And uh, this video is just, um, <laughs> it's a different one. Um, I have some jewelry here, some sterling silver jewelry. And um, we're, we're in a conversation here about what to do with this jewelry. It's nothing that, that I want. Um, and the, the conversation revolves around, it's all sterling silver. So do we take it apart and melt it down? Or do we try to just sell it as is and use the money off of that to buy some uh, generic silver rounds that we could then um, melt down to pour uh, some custom pours? So uh, we've not dealt with sterling silver before. And um, some of the questions are, uh, if you do melt it down, um, you know, what's the loss on it in terms of um, any other alloys melting out? Um, it is all sterling silver. Um, I, anyway, I, I, I guess um, we're just asking for your thoughts. Anybody that's melted down sterling silver, it's all brand new. Um, it's never been worn. Um, like this one is a Spanish cross. It's sterling silver and it's got a carnelian stone in it. So how do you do, what do you do with the stones? If you do melt them down, um, what do you, what do you do with the stones afterwards? Let's see, let's throw that on the scale. That shows 27, 27 grams, 28 grams. Well, we'll call it 27. It's got that piece of paper. So it's 27 grams of sterling silver and and the stone. Um, there's another one here. Um, it's a Spanish cross. It's got a th amethyst in it. So that might be a more... There we go, 23 grams. Um, if we were to melt those down, um, you know, what could we expect in terms of a percentage of loss um, and is it worth it I mean is there a value added uh, again this isn't any good to me um, the way it is uh, this is a obviously an earring set um, so with something like this where I mean it very clearly marks what each of the stones are um, obsidian hematite garnet two garnets um, more hematite Lapis, malachite, amethyst, turquoise, turquoise, jet, malachite, coral. Um, but it is, it, it is all, again, sterling silver. That's a bracelet. Um, my goodness. A couple of these two sets of earrings. Um, this taped shut. Uh, pretty fine wire. And a green set. I just, I, we didn't know if it would be, like I said, worth it. This is a little heavier. Um, I don't know if I can get that to focus, but it is stamped sterling. But it has the stones in it as well. Um, 12 grams. And then uh, these were larger pieces the the earring this is a lapel pin and this is also a pin um now that has the price 47.50 wholesale on it um it is let me pull this back here it is stamped there sterling so um i'd appreciate any feedback any advice that you'd have uh, for me um, in regards to this. This is sterling. This one's kind of interesting. Um, the colors on it. Um, the jewelry was designed around frogs, salamanders, and turtles who are the monitors of our environment and are disappearing at an alarming rate on a global scale. The finish is either a 24 karat gold plate or a natural patina. The blue-green-brown patina is a natural oxidization process of bronze similar to rust on iron. In nature, the growth of a patina occurs very slowly, but with use of salts and heat, 
It can be accomplished in a matter of days. A final lacquer finish keeps the patina from wearing. So this is going to have a lacquer finish on it. What's that going to do if a person wants to, you know, try to melt it down or um, should we not even try? Again, I, uh, I don't know anything about melting down jewelry. Um, so, um, or should we just think about trying to sell this outright? I guess is the other question. So if anybody has any thoughts, um, advice, um, or words of wisdom for us uh, in regards to this, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave me a comment down below and, um, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good day.